Well, hello again everyone. It's the Tuesday before Christmas and I'm trying to get everything together so that we can go away in the van. And I've come across another little problem. Well, if you're a regular viewer, you might recall we had a problem where the water pump froze up in the van. And I did say once the weather got milder, I'd fill up the tank and run the pump and check for any leaks. And I've done that and initially it all seemed fine. But when I took the cover off of the sort of seating area where the water heater is underneath, I could hear a very slight hissing. And I put my hand over the water heater and I could feel a very, very faint mist of water. Now, I'm not sure that this was caused by the freezing because the point where the water was coming out, which I'll show you in a minute, is definitely way above the drain off point and the heater was drained down. So I don't think there would have been any ice in there. But if you remember, when I stayed at the pub car park in Surrey, I did have the pump just firing occasionally. So I did suspect there was a leak. So I think this might be sort of predating the uh, the frozen frozing the freezing not frozing the freezing issue that we had so here you can see the problem um the water mist was sort of coming out of this area and uh, i could see that the hose was moving where it connects onto the barb in a way that it probably shouldn't so i did suspect this had happened and uh, i separated the hose from the barb but as soon as I put a spanner on the barb, it just sheared clean off. Now imagine it's just got brittle over the years. It's on the hot discharge side from the heater. So it probably gets hot, then it gets cold, then hot, then cold. And you know, it's probably original. So it's 32 years old and just got brittle and finally given up. But it does leave me with a bit of a problem because I've got that threaded section stuck in there. So the first thing I'm gonna try is getting it out with a screw extractor. Now, unfortunately, that didn't work as easily as I'd hoped. Um, I didn't want to go too mad with it because, of course, as you screw that in, you're effectively creating an expanding plug. And that aluminium um, tube thing that it screws into is not very thick. So I didn't want to go crazy with that and crack the aluminium. So next thing I want to try, I think, is just uh, wedging a, a screwdriver in and just trying to tap it round a little bit. Um, we'll see how we get on with that. I love the chase and the hunt, and I set the pace when I'm running. I always take no, that's not working so great either. I think the next thing I want to try is I'm going to get a little a junior hacksaw blade or something in there and see if I can cut it into two halves carefully. Uh, I had some success with that when I had uh, a similar thing stuck before uh, in the other side, the water heater, I think, and it was the um, safety plug vent thing wasn't it anyway let's try that give it 100 don't need a bank no i'm funded play the game like it's nothing i'm always thankful for something don't take for granted stay humble now wake up it's time to look at the enemy look well that wasn't too bad in the end um i found these brass fittings which i hoped might fit these are quarter bsp tapered um thread but unfortunately they're not right. No friend of me. It's not working now. Maybe it's the chemistry. It's time to break up so I can make a better me. Well, I've had a thorough search in the garage. Uh, I did find this, but unfortunately it's the wrong thread and the hose barb is too thin. So I've had a look online and I have found somewhere that sells the proper fitting. Uh, and I've ordered one and I've paid for next day delivery. Uh, it cost me £10.98 in total, so... Uh, yeah, fingers crossed that this close to Christmas, the next day delivery does actually work. Because uh, I think uh, I'm running out of time otherwise. Well, it's a couple of days later now and I've got myself the spare part that I needed. Apparently it's called a Fulham Hot Water Outlet. And I found this one at a company called Aztec Leisure. And they sent it next day uh, DHL delivery for me. So... <laughs> a lot of thanks to them for helping me out with this in the week before Christmas. 
Well, it's come with a, a little rubber O-ring washer and I'm going to put it in with some PTFE thread seal tape. So, yeah, let's wind that in, reconnect the hose and then we should be able to test it. All it takes is some time and some clarity to find your identity. It's mind over everything. So there we go, hopefully that won't leak anymore. Still got a bit of water in the tank, so let's try the pump. So getting hot water, well not hot water because the boiler isn't on, but I'm getting water out of the hot tap in the bathroom and water out of the hot tap in the kitchen. And the pump is stopping when the pressure gets up and yeah that's dry as a bone fantastic so hopefully we're all set well there we go no more water heater leaks hopefully so that should mean that everything is working nicely for our trip away after christmas day touch wood so yeah hopefully we'll see you in the next video when we should be on our way to wales